Well, hello. Hi, hi. How, howdy. How y'all doing? Uh, y'all is going to think I'm completely and utterly crazy because, yes, I got the news that there's a possibility that I might be dying and there might not be anything they can do for me. It might be incurable. It might be past the point of surgery. I might just have to die in pain, um, basically. Um, but uh, I also, there was a song um, that keeps coming up, so I figured, well, let's take a look. It's a Santana song that I, I always liked. And, uh... One day I was on the ground When I needed a hand and it couldn't be found I was so far down that I couldn't get up, you know. And one day I was one of life's losers. Even my friends were my accusers. And even my head, I lost before I began. Well, I dreamed of turning to dust. What I thought was love, that must have been a lust. I was in style when the walls fell in. And when I put in my hand, looked like a joke. I turned around, put Mr. Roker. And the lady left, she was waiting outside the door. I'm winning, 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 I'm I gotta stop there because I can't remember the words. Um. But yeah, man, um, I'm not gonna like get me down. Uh, and I, I am the guy who keeps asking to shrink. And well, actually, all the professionals that I talk to, spiritual advisor too, and I keep asking him. How many of you, the people that you talk to say thank you for their cancer? I'm still saying thank you for it because I needed it. I needed uh, to be a, to wake up as a human being because I was wasn't I, I was not doing what I came here on the earth to do. I still don't know what I'm here to do yet, but uh, I'm working on it. And uh, it wasn't what I was doing before. It wasn't this weirdness that. I don't know who created this world for all of us, but we're all just following along it, and I don't know why. And I definitely, I think that's what gave me the cancer in the first place, and that might be why I'm here today. Try and wake people up to the fact that we're not here to just keep up with the Joneses and they go and work for other people so that they can make money and they can have great lives and we can be... The poor and oppressed, you know. Um, maybe that's it. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyways, thank you guys all for tuning in, for watching, watching my weirdness. Oh, ho, ho, dude, going crazy. That's all right. Um, anyways, I hope you all is having a great day. It's Sunday, right? It's God's day. I always look up. He's there for you. And I'll, uh, I'll see you then. It's a short one. Uh, it's a weird day today. Uh, mom's moving day. Uh, they're heading back north towards uh, Vermont. So. Uh, they're, uh, I, I usually talk to mom early and usually is why I'm talking to her now, which is why I'm doing this now instead of then, because she's going to call when they're done. Anyways, I hope you all is having a great, oh, that was the other thing I meant to, uh, put in here too. Cause that was, that was for mom. And if, if mom's still watching, man, that was, yeah, man. Cause she had said something about, she had been watching, um, musicians and, uh, it, it seemed to, to look like some of them would just play one chord while they were singing. And this is like one of those perfect examples because... It, it just stays on that D chord. And then a big change to a, a G one whole measure. So yeah, while yes, the, while while 
if you construct the song correctly, you can do that so that you don't have to concentrate on all these weird chords while you're singing. Um, wasn't that the, the thing that Ronnie Van Zant uh, couldn't write uh, words for Freebird for a long time? He told Alan Collins there were too many chords. Anyways, I hope you all is having a great day. I went off on a side tangent there. Like I said, always look up. He's there for you. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you then.